What's up, Starshines? I'm Sylvia Moonbeam, and welcome to an interesting Transformers review. Today, we are going to be looking at Arms Micron 29 Shockwave. To put it simply, the Japanese release of the Fall of Cybertron figure was never released. Instead, they received this figure during the Transformers Prime era, and his normal arm cannon was replaced with an arms micron. In this case, a character known as Beto, or in the Japanese name, literally just Beetle, who transforms into his arm cannon. Uh, what's really interesting is because this technically is his canon figure for the first season of Prime, we literally go from this figure to the Voyager class figure of Shockwave that I previously reviewed between the course of season one and two. Even though when we see Shockwave, he's always in his big form. So I'm kind of interested in the continuity aspects of this, but uh, enough talking. Let's open this up and see what's inside. So, Shockwave comes packaged in his alternate mode, and notice that he's missing his gun. He looks so hollow without his gun. It would appear that Beto comes disassembled, and there's a sticker sheet for us to decorate him and the instructions in Japanese. Having never bought a Japanese figure before, I wasn't expecting to have to assemble my own robot. So that's a little bit of a surprise to me. Something else I am noticing on these figures is that Shockwave sticker sheet also includes some Shockwave sticker stickers with his head and his name. So I'm definitely gonna put one of those like on my phone or something, or my computer. It has been a while since I've done a model kit like this, so I don't know how long this is going to take me, but I'll film it. Um, I got some scissors, a, a nail file for the little nubbins after I uh, cut it off. Um, I also have some needle nose pliers, so I guess we'll start off by removing things from the sprues. Um, and there's also, st and there's the stickers too. So who knows how long this will take me. Um, I think rather than showing assembly, I'm just gonna skip forward to when it's done, just to save some battery and save your time. Um, extensive work, about half an hour worth. I finally have Beto all put together and all their little stickers in place. They have this little gem that underneath, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, is a Decepticon logo. That was an especially hard sticker to get in as were the ones here on the back. Uh, but the trans- oh, and there's a little tiny red eye. Uh, the transformation's kind of interesting, but fairly simple. Uh, basically, you fold up the little beetle legs, then you extend the body out. You can see it telescopes, which is really cool. I love things that telescope like that. Then you simply rotate the horn and top of the carapace around. And then I'm not sure, it looks like you don't slide it back in, but there is a little bit of a tab so it can kind of lock into place. Um, of course, there is a five millimeter peg there. And so that allows Shockwave to hold a rough approximation of the cannon that he had in Fall of Cybertron. Um, obviously there's also five millimeter ports at the top of the horn and at the front, so you can attach other arms microns or mini cons or anything else that has a five millimeter port. But uh, that was a lot of work for Beto. It's cute, but I don't know if all that work for this little guy was worth it. I think I would have rather have him just come pre-assembled in package. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's kind of cute. Nice little friend. And 
<laughs> There's a bunch of stickers left over, which means those are all going to end up on shot. In order to put the stickers on the robot, I have to convert it into robot mode first. But there's this cool little automorph gimmick, okay? So in vehicle mode, they have this little molding here to replicate uh, Shockwave's head kind of sticking up. And then when you flip it over, you can actually see Shockwave's real head. There's a cool little automorph gimmick though when you tab in the chest, look at this. It pops the head up, this little spring-loaded head. That's so cool. Um, ironically though, it doesn't seem like there's any head articulation because of that gimmick. But I wasn't expecting that, and so the first time I just went boop! It was so cool! Um, also, my neighbors are blasting music, and despite asking them to quiet down, they still haven't. So, we may have to deal with this for the rest of the, of the reveal. Because the music from next door was so loud that it was ruining my train of thought, I actually had to record the audio separately after I finished filming. Here's Shockwave in robot mode. He looks actually pretty good. Let me just give him a quick little turnaround. He's got some really cool detail, though I think the 5mm ports on the wings are a little, well, they stand out like a sore thumb. Shockwave's partner, Beto, can attach to his backpack. However, You'll have to make sure you transform it into cannon mode first. After struggling to attach it properly, I realized you have to fold in Beto's legs in order for the gun attachment to attach to Shockwave's backpack. After removing the cannon, you can of course attach it to either of Shockwave's hands in order to convert that hand into a cannon arm. Despite the extra weight, Shockwave's arm cannon is actually surprisingly light. It does not knock him over. He's able to stand with it fine. Though I do wish it was purple instead of black because it doesn't really match the rest of his figure that well. That being said, it looks really cool. I'll finish up with one last little loop around Shockwave. I'll also put his arm down and give him one final 360 turn before we move on to comparing him to other figures. Here's Shockwave with Cyberverse One-Step Changer. With Cyberverse Warrior Class Shockwave. With Combiner Wars, Legends Class Shockwave, Cyber Battalion Shockwave. How could I forget the Beast Hunter Shockwave from Transformers Prime? Shockwave's jet slash flying gun mode is really cool, though again, the black gun does stand out a bit. It's a pretty tight vehicle mode though, with only visible leg syndrome. <laughs> I actually really enjoy how sleek this design is. It's lovely. Here he is with Combiner Wars Shockwave, with Cyberverse Warrior Shockwave, Cyberverse One Step Changer Shockwave, and Cyber Battalion Shockwave. Personally, my favorite of my Shockwave figures. This has been my review of Transformers Arms Micron Shockwave with Arms Micron partner Beto. If you liked this video, please give me a lunar laser like below. And if you want to see more content like this, give me a star shine subscribe and hit me that moonbeam bell. After all, with a character like Shockwave, it's only logical. See you next time, star shines. Bye.